the reason that I chose to do plastic surgery was because after having three children, um, it really kind of changes your body uh, shape and um, I was very self-conscious. I had always been really thin and had a small waist and um, smaller breasts that were perky and so I chose to do plastic surgery so that I felt better and, and had more confidence in myself. What bothered me about my body was I had gotten older and I had had a couple of children uh, via C-section and I had gained weight and really hadn't taken care of myself, too busy taking care of my children and you know work and the weight was harder to come off but I and I always had um, large breasts for my size I'm petite I'm only five feet tall and uh, everything you know that and the stomach was getting bigger and and saggier and exercise wasn't helping and I just was feeling very self-loathing emotionally and I didn't realize how negative I was about myself till I looked around my house. I didn't have mirrors in my house, not many, or if I, I didn't like to look in a mirror. And um, I just kept thinking that it doesn't seem too healthy to feel so self-loathing all the time. And am I going to just get older and it's going to get worse? Or am I going to just stop and do something about it? You know, if you don't like it, fix it. So finally, I committed to fixing it. And uh, so I researched uh, the cosmetic surgery and you know, read testimonials online and decided I think I'm going to do it. And once I made the commitment, I followed through on it. I actually went to visit quite a few doctors before I chose Dr. Delgado, but my husband had met Dr. Delgado and was very impressed by him. And, and after um, going to a few doctors and coming down to meet him, I felt really confident with him and his staff. And, his portfolio um, exceeded anything that I had seen previously, so I chose him because he, he was the best. I chose Dr. Delgado to be my surgeon after researching extensively on the internet, because it's easy to do. I'm new to San Francisco, I'm not from this area. I really didn't have friends that had plastic surgery. I don't know anyone that did our cosmetic surgery. So I had no referral basis. And of course, it's something that you don't really want to talk about with coworkers or anything. So it's private. You're not going to ask people. So I used the internet and looked at their credentials and read a lot of the testimonials, you know, at the different websites. And I liked what I saw with Dr. Delgado's website. And so I came in for a consultation. When I went in for my consultation with Dr. Delgado, I immediately felt comfortable and confident. And Dr. Delgado, actually exuded a, a confidence that I, I got the impression he knew what he was doing, he knew what he was talking about, and he did put me really at ease, and his staff was really nice. I, um, I knew I made the right choice just from that first visit. I wanted a few procedures done at Dr. Delgado's office. I wanted to have a tummy tuck and liposuction, and I also wanted a breast reduction and lift. And so I scheduled them at two different times. I had a tummy tuck and liposuction done the first time about two years ago, and then recently had a reduction and lift to my breasts. I scheduled to do um, my surgery procedures all at one time. I had a couple procedures done. And the reason I chose to do that was, one, I was afraid I'd chicken out. I didn't, <laughs> if I did one, I wouldn't go through with all of it. Um, because I didn't know what to expect. And secondly, I just, for work reasons, I wanted to just to do the downtime all at one time. The pre-op booklet explained a lot to me. They went over a lot of details prior to the surgery in the office. Um, they definitely didn't hide anything. They were very clear about how much help I would need after the surgeries, and so I think that they were very, very professional books. I had my surgery at the Marin Cosmetic Surgery Center, which is a beautiful facility. I spent the night in a private suite, uh, which was very clean and attractive, and um, I felt very safe, and um, I liked that it was private. The day of the surgery, um, when I arrived, 
the team that was to do my surgery, evidently they've been together for seven years doing surgeries together, so they really are a team, more like a family. And uh, you're a little nervous. I was a little nervous the day of, and you're self-conscious with the prep and everything. But they put you so at ease. Uh, Dr. Delgado and uh, Dr. Gaynor was the anesthetist, and he just has a really great personality. Um, and it, the atmosphere was more like a like you were welcoming you to a club. <laughs> I, you know, I forgot that I was there having surgery. I was enjoying, you know, the people. They were a lot of fun. Um, and I was very relaxed and um, I felt very secure and I, I wasn't self-conscious, which is surprising for me. I thought I'd be very self-conscious, but, you know, I just found that they were very attentive and relaxing and jovial, so it made it e easier. I really like Dr. Gaynor. He is a wonderful anesthesiologist, very friendly, very down to earth, and he is very confident. So it makes you as a patient feel confident with his skills. And so um, the night before when I spoke with him, he was very friendly and told me not to worry at all. And in the morning when I showed up, he was not just friendly to me, but very friendly to my husband as well. And so. I, he's a great anesthesiologist. After my surgery, after I was released from the Marin Cosmetic Surgery Center, uh, Dr. Delgado visited me uh, to go over my post-op instructions and check me and I was comforted to see him and he reassured me and let me know that I could call him if I had any questions. And throughout my post-op, I, I had many numerous visits and which were comforting too because you you've never experienced this before and you have a lot of questions and he was wonderful about that and he was wonderful about seeing me and I did call him once with a question and he just didn't even hesitate he said oh just drop by come in and I'll and I'll see you which was I was surprised you know that he did that but it was very comforting he just made sure that he's with you the whole way through this my first surgery the tummy tuck and liposuction it was um, uh, the downtime for that was approximately three weeks and so um, it was tough on my children to not have their mother waiting on them as much as they had expected but um, it, it was expected to have that much downtime it was clearly you know written in the paperwork and so I really wasn't surprised um, at how long it took after the first surgery. The second surgery, the breast lift and reduction, I was pleasantly surprised that it, it wasn't nearly as hard of a recovery, it wasn't nearly as painful as um, I had expected or anticipated. So I, I was very pleasantly surprised about that one. My downtime with the surgery was actually two weeks. I, I went back to work on the third week, uh, which is actually pushing it, but I had committed to the surgery and used positive thinking and I, I my, for myself I just thought laying around and dwelling on the surgery was not going to help me heal any faster. So I really pushed myself, um, but everybody has their own pace and going back to work for me, I did not have strenuous activity, so it was easy for me to return back to work. But I did really well with my surgery. I had no complications, and it was a very good experience for me.